everybody i'm actually in boston right now uh i'm actually here out here for work um in the meantime i figured why not create a quick video on a teardown of the gotway tesla so um but first i want to say thank you all for watching my previous two videos on the tesla um there's a lot of comments i got to answer i also posted it on the eoc forums a lot of questions i got to answer there guys i promise you i will well this video was put together to answer some of those questions uh some of them being like the battery size uh some of them being where does the heat go um you know the fan what the motherboard looks like where it's located you know things like that so hopefully this video answers some of those questions as far as distance um i did do a distance test by the way um so i commute 30 miles a day uh, on my m super v3 so yesterday i said let me try it on on the tesla and i'm happy to report that yes the tesla can handle the trip very easy 15 going 15 coming back and i didn't charge the entire day and i still left with i want to say a little over 50 percent battery life and i think i was riding over 25 miles per hour the entire time unless i have to stop for lights obviously guys so I've gone ahead and removed the side panels to this gotway um, here are the side panels over here remember what I mentioned earlier it's that hard sort of uh, it's that hard plastic and it's, they're so easy to remove I don't know if you guys remember so all you guys that own gotways uh, you know Marty you know uh, rehab one Ron Chris any of you who own gotways know it's usually a pain to service whether it's to swap the motherboard or to check the wiring uh you'll be happy to know that these panels are actually really easy to remove it's literally uh it's literally four screws on each side that's it it is gotway i think gotway starting to listen to us which is great anyway here's the batteries Your batteries. Uh, this is an 84 volt battery. And the standard traditional connectors your power, your charge, discharge. At least I think that's discharge. Same here. This one has an extender added onto it. Alright, let's take a look at the motherboard. Uh, so you'll see. So this motherboard is actually in, held in with two screws. Remember I mentioned in the previous video, the motherboard is now located on the top. This is the actual motherboard. And once you remove the two little screws, which lo is located on the side, one here, one here, it's just a matter of sliding this thing out. And voila, I just revealed the motherboard. I'm no electrician, I'm not an engineer. I'm gonna guess that this thing has six MOSFETs. Um, and remember that the dual fan I mentioned in my previous video well here they are two really nice little fans now somebody mentioned in the in the uh, on the forums that it's cool that it has a fan but where does the heat go right and that's true where does where where is it going where the exhaust heat go well let me bring some light so this is the enclosure that the motherboard sits in and you'll see that there's not a lot of room for the heat to go anywhere but what i'm noticing is there are two like holes let me get this light in here there's two holes in there and i'm gonna assume that the heat will then go inside and come out through the bottom again these are all guesses i'm not too sure um there's also a hole on this side you know i don't know if you can see it but there's a hole in there and i'm assuming that the heat can just sort of go exhaust out obviously these wires are going towards the front which is the power charge and you know and um, led but i'm assuming that the heat can possibly escape from down here somehow um again i, I feel like god we are taking steps to protect its riders which is a good thing because we all know the the problems from the past with the previous models so this is good um so yeah the name is actually official if you look at the board that does it does say gotway tesla a4v followed by the motor code 
And here it is. Again, um, I'm being told to take it easy on the speed test. I can confirm for a fact that this thing will bring you over 30 miles per hour. To also answer another question uh, from one of the comments, um, somebody asked me how long is the trolley? And so the trolley on the Tesla is actually one foot 16 inches, uh, give or take, one foot 16 inches. Uh, yeah, so I hope that helps. Also the weight of this thing, I don't know if I included it in my last video, I think I did, but I'm gonna reiterate. The weight of the Gotway Tesla is, is about 42.8 pounds. A bit lighter than the M Super V3, but not by much. And I can't thank Gotway America enough for sending me this this prototype. I have to tell you, I'm having a great time, and uh, uh, it feels good to be sponsored. It does. All right, guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video. Over and out.